What's going on y'all? Josh Miller here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to light exterior night scenes. And to do this, we're going to be using the movie The Bike Riders with Austin Butler, uh, Tom Hardy, Jodie Comer. Uh, I it, It's a good movie. I actually, I really, really like this movie. Um, and the cinematography is great. Um, yeah, and this scene I think really gives a good example of how to light exterior night scenes. So, um, the first thing that I want to talk about, uh, just a couple of pointers, is you want to motivate your light. Like, it's dark. There's no light. Like, we're not motivating from the sun or something. And so, uh, you know, or if you're interior and it's a night scene and there's no, uh, you know, lights, if there's no artificial light, you know, are you motivating the light coming from the moon through the window? You, know, you want to motivate things. And then the other thing is you want to you want to create depth. Uh, you know, it's dark. And so in order to create that depth, you've got to, you've got to really, the objects are not just being lit by themselves from like the sun or something. You've got to create that light, create pools of light to create that depth. And, and you'll see that here in a second with, with, uh, with this first shot that we're looking at from the bike rider. So let's just dive right in. Let's just get right into it. First things first to notice, we've got a nice, cool, key light. This is her key light on this right side. And that is coming from a light from over here. And you can actually see the reflection of that right here. And what that is, this is some from, like I said, these are for some uh, behind the scenes. So we've got like a 20 by 12 big old bounce over here. The next thing to note is these lights coming from above we've got pools we've got really nice light I was talking about these like pools of light here and here here and it's creating you know light that's hitting here uh light hitting here and that looks like that's probably this light back here is hitting from this sign back here and then we've got this like light way here in the back and there's probably something there's something coming from back here as well. So <clears throat> we've got Jodie Comer. She comes out of here, comes out of the bar, and then she walks across the street and she's standing here. And you can see in here. So on this is like over here is uh, the tavern. She walks across the street and then she ends up here. And so that key light, you know, it's probably hitting it's that that's probably the same key light that's hitting here i would as i would assume and the reason i say that is because in a second let's go over here to um so this shot right here it's interesting to see how I, it's really not that big of a deal but it's like whenever you pay attention to it you're like oh that's weird so in this scene super light you've got that light there and then when you've got austin butler coming out it's like super dark. And the reason for this is because in the shot, they actually follow him all the way over from here. He like pulls out a cigarette and then he walks all the way across the street and gets on his motorcycle right here. And if he, if, if the reason why they needed to, to, to take that light out, that big 20 by 12 is because the, the shot is a one take, like it follows him. And even though they cut back and forth, they actually cut from there to here and then back over to here. But they, they look, you can see that's that's exactly where that big old light was, was originally. So they couldn't do that. So, you know, not too big of a deal. Um, I don't think you really notice, like the viewer, a normal audience member doesn't really notice because they're just not trained to. But in order to combat that, they've still got these pools of light all along here um, that's highlighting things. And then there's even, you know, there's little lights way in the back just, you know, creating, like I said, that depth again. So what are they using for uh, those, you know, to create these pools of light? Let's talk about that. So there's some more BTS footage, thankfully. BTS footage is the best. Uh, 
you can see that there's like these lights that they've rigged up. And, uh, you know, they've rigged them up here, here, here. Honestly, they're probably, I, I would I would bet that they rigged them pretty far down. Like it's all the way down here. I would assume. I don't know. Um, but, you know, then you've got control. And they actually leave them in the shot. You can see here, like that's the light right there. And it just looks like a street lamp. So they just leave it in the shot and that's pretty dope. Um, oh yeah, here's another. You can see it's, I don't know what it is. It looks like it's some sort of a, you know, like a like a sky panel or a maybe like an aperture, like a Nova 300 or a, a 600. Um, but they've got them rigged up on these light poles. And you can see right there, there's the stinger plugged in. Very nice. Here we've got her standing here, and she's got that big key light that's giving her her key here. And then we've got these nice lights here, 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 in the background, these neon signs. I'm sure our department probably put those in. I doubt that that was just naturally there. But let's look at the key light in her eye because we've got, you can see that there's like that big old nice chunk of light on this side, like we were saying. But then you can see there's like a little light, little catch light. I can't zoom in actually. Um, and that's coming from uh, this light right here. We've got like a nice big old, another big tungsten uh, light. And I that's that's motivating from like those street lamps and stuff to give her that warm, that warm glow. The other thing is... We've got this light, so that's that's Jody Comer's uh, mark right there, and we've got this light here, and then I I forgot to grab a picture of it, but there's this big old cherry picker right here, and that's creating this pool of light here, um, and it's probably you know hitting her a little bit as well, so. It's it's you know it's basic three point lighting still like we're we're they're really doing some pretty good just standard three point lighting, and they're just motivating it from the things that are happening. All right, so then here, like I said, he Austin Butler he like gets on his bike. So now that light that key light is gone from over here, and the key light has moved to over here. So it's giving him that edge there, and then I'm sure. It's it's hard to, I don't think I really see it, but that warm light is probably still giving him something from over here. At least just at least just filling it in and bringing up those those levels just so that it's not crushing completely into black. And then, you know, in the scene, we've got those lights. They probably have those uh, those panels up on that pole there. And it's highlighting that, giving that nice pull of light there. And then as they're as the biker gangs crossing the street, we've got that key light back on that side, and it's giving them all that nice light there. And you can see they probably um, it it might just be that cherry picker, but there's uh, there's something giving a nice warm glow on that camera left side of the face. Uh, either the cherry picker or that little thing, or maybe they moved that. Uh, it, it was. It looked like it was like a twelve by twelve. Um, so they just maybe moved that twelve by twelve, you know, bounce and just stuck it over there and giving them that. So, and like I said, we can see those lights in the background creating that depth. This is so as they're getting, she gets on the bike with him, like the biker gang. They kind of come out. They're Razzle on her and she gets on the bike with Austin Butler. So there here you can really see, you know, what's going on. And um they actually I, I couldn't grab a I, I couldn't grab the still from from this, but in this scene they actually have two of these big key lights going on. They have this one here that's sitting like down, you know, this side. And then they actually had another one sitting back over here. So it was like further over here. And that was just being able to give, you know, a nice wrap of light 
around his face, her face. And then, like I said, we can really see it here, that warm light keying them on the left side of their faces. And whether that's from that 12 by 12 or it's from uh, that cherry picker or something, it looks like it's probably from that 12 by 12. That's my guess. One thing that really helps with lighting um, exterior night scenes is having your subjects backlit in some way, uh, whether that's like the moonlight or, you know, here in this scene, she's got that, uh, it's like an overhead, um, probably from this, you know, this street lamp. It's one of those, one of those panels, but it's just, it's edging her out. And the reason why that helps so much is that it makes things like everything still feels dark, but it doesn't blend in together. Um, you can see, you know, the separation between her hair and that, that door here is another example of kind of that. I mean, like he, he's getting that edge from that light, from that key light on this right side. And so it's, it's edging him out there and then he, they're just kind of letting, you know, it's, it, it's like, the, it's a white wall and stuff over here. So it's okay if, if, uh, there's nothing really going on there just because, it you still see that separation, you know, but like over here, his head would completely fall off. It would just blend in with all of this this darkness over here. So they gotta they gotta edge out edge out there. All right. So just to recap, so we want to motivate our lighting. We want to use depth. We want to light so that we can have depth. And then that third one, you know, edging things out. And then as we saw in here, using the basics of three-point lighting is still super, super applicable. Uh, a nice key light, nice fill, nice hair, edge light, something like that. It's there. We're seeing this right here in the bike riders. So appreciate you guys for being here. Like, subscribe, comment. If you haven't already, I have a free storyboard template for you to be able to storyboard your content, your ideas, your short films, whatever it is that you're doing. Just use the link below and it's totally free. It's totally yours. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you next time.